Hey divas, it's your girl Kimmy. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are doing a makeup video. We're just doing some girl-ish, you know, just playing in makeup and having some fun. So if you are down for that, make sure you stay tuned for the video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to your girl's channel. It's lit over here. The divas are fly, the divas are lit. We about to have some fun. So let's get straight into the video. So divas, we are going to start with our eyeshadow because I have already done my eyebrows, I have already primed my eyes, so we are getting straight into the fun bit which is eyeshadow, okay? I have been contemplating all day what look I'm gonna do and I still don't know, I tried two different looks, didn't really like either of them but... We're just going to play in makeup, you know? I'm such a girl. I just have fun doing my makeup, playing in makeup. So that's what we're doing. Today's video, just, you know, being on some girl-ish, having some fun, talking about some, you know, makeup, how to apply it, my little, you know tips and tricks if you don't already got them but we are starting off with the essence eyeshadow this is like one of my favorite eyeshadows it is so pretty look at these colors y'all like if you are a nude girl this is absolutely your palette boo it is the one it, this is it this is the one for you I'm trying to figure out what I'm what I'm doing here, but let's just roll with it. Um, I'm gonna go in with this color right over here. This is like a peach type of color, and the pigment on this eyeshadow is crazy. And we're going in with um okay the name rubbed off, but I know these are brushes I got from Discam. They came in a set. Just make sure you know you head to Discam and look for you know some cheap brushes because i've had these for a while they're not shedding or anything so they work girl and they're good quality so just buy some eyeshadow brushes at clicks can y'all see how pigmented that is mm. And also another um let me give y'all a tip right if you wanna like control your eyeshadow a bit better you must know that when you hold your brush from the far end it blends a little bit easier and it doesn't like deposit as much product right but if you hold it closer to the actual I don't know what this part is but this part right here um you apply a lot of pressure so it's not going to be that easy to blend you know what i'm saying and i already made a mistake see the side i forgot to tap right I forgot to tap my brush and it deposited so much color but it's not really a train smash because this is just the transition color so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with um, a blending brush there's no product on this brush whatsoever I use this brush for blending out nothing more if anything uh, it might have a little translucent powder but no eyeshadow nothing and I'm just going in with that and I'm being very aggressive because I'm trying to blend my transition color. 
see how quick and simple that was? Just like a little transition color over here and over there. Bada boom, bada bang, and we're done. I didn't add any more product to this brush. I'm just using whatever that's there to make sure I just blend. Mm, this is difficult, y'all. I have, you know, I'm just like winning this and hoping the makeup turns out good, girl, because I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to go in with this light brown over here. Which, as you can see, it's one of my favorite colors to use, you know. And I'm just going to add that in my crease. It's looking a little, you know. Okay. I can, I can see that. I'm going in with the same brush um, for the transition color and I'm just trying to balance out my two eyes it's very important to have balance don't let one side be darker than the other that's weird don't do that and that's what I'm trying to sort out right now A part of me is tempted to do like a little cut crease but I don't want to do all of that because 9 out of 10 times I'm just going to end up not liking it. So what I'm going to do is add a little bit of gold, you know. This is like some like a makeup look like that's for like the girl who wants to play in color but doesn't want to do too much. You get what I'm saying? And that's me girl, I don't want to do too much these days. I'm just going in with some setting spray I used the one and only Maybelline if you can get that gloss one girl please let me know I've been looking for it I don't know where it is and I'm just gonna go in with a gold like this little gold over here it's a very pretty gold and I'm just gonna apply that on my eyelid for some glitter If you're a girl like me and you've got hooded eyes, like just remember because you don't have a lot of eyelid space to play with, don't do too much. You know what I'm saying? Just chill. Don't do too much. I don't really like this gold. Hmm. Okay, let me do the other eye. I can always add a little something, something else to it. I should have went with the bronze shimmer, but we'll see. We will see. And also, another way like of figuring out where to cut your crease, if you're struggling to cut your crease, or where to place your main, your main shadow, just like, this is for girls who've got hooded eyes just look at where your eyeball actually is like you see i just made a mistake i went a little bit higher up but there's nothing a little blending can't can't fix you know Okay, so we are going to start with primer and of course we're using the Revlon. I told you guys I love this primer. I just hate the little beads because they make life a little difficult. But other than that, girl, it's a good primer. Revlon really been doing that thing. So, and I think they've got a new foundation. It's like, I must check that out actually. Hmm. 
I'll let you guys know as soon as I get the Revlon foundation. Last time I was at Clix, they didn't really have my shade. So I was like, Ugh. I'll look elsewhere. And then y'all know, same, 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 the Wet and Wild eyeshadow primer. Y'all know, I tell y'all, if you have a sweaty nose or a place generally where your makeup won't stay, this little primer, apply it there, make sure you blend it out good. And you should be good, you know? Now... <clears throat> this baby over here I love her coverage I love um the packaging and it's a HD like I just love um everything about this foundation except that it's moody so there's some days when it really works for me and it's like super amazing and in these days it's just cakey it just breaks like you don't even know what the hell is happening so let's pray you know what i mean this is a really really good foundation this is the catrice foundation if you are looking for a full coverage foundation So I'm gonna blend it out a little bit at a time and I'm gonna be using a sponge not a brush last time I used the brush didn't work out so well so I'm just gonna try the sponge and I'm not gonna let it dry so I'm gonna apply my foundation in little bits and pieces you know what I'm saying and see how that goes Ugh. Do you see these white things from the Revlon primer I was talking about? These are annoying. They are hella annoying. But okay, let's let's keep going. Let's keep going. Not bad. Okay, I think I learned the trick. The trick is don't let it dry. Work in little bits and pieces and definitely use a sponge. Do not use a damp sponge, okay? Like these things. I don't want to call them beauty blenders because beauty blenders are the brand. And this is not a beauty blender. It's just a sponge. You know what I'm saying? So work in little pieces. Don't let it dry. And use a sponge. I got it. Y'all, I don't know what's up with this, but let's keep going. We go see. We're gonna see. So that is the Catrice um, foundation in toffee beige. I don't know why it's looking a little ashy. I swear it's not ashy. You know what I'm saying? The sliding got me messed up. And I thought I did such a good job on it. But I can see on the monitor it looks a little too toned. And in reality, it's actually a little darker than my skin. In reality. But you know. Whatever. We're going to go in with this concealer. This is the Balm Diggity. This is the Maybelline Concealer. 
and it was the Marvel collection. This is in the color 10 Caramel. So, yeah. I'm going in with another one. This is the Instant Anti-Age Eraser. And this is also a Maybelline concealer. And it's a little lighter. It's like one shade lighter than the other one. And I'm going to add that to my under eye area. Because that's the place I want really bright. Ooh. And then we're just gonna blend it out i'm not even gonna let it sit too long because this is a very creamy concealer and i ain't trying to you know have the situation where it becomes unblendable so i'm just gonna blend it and if you notice today i'm not really going crazy with the coverage like normally when you want like a lot of full coverage i say let your makeup stay a little bit but Honestly, I'm just shooting videos. After here, I'm going to shoot a couple of fashion videos. And that's it really. So, it's not that deep. I need to contour my face and I'm using the black opal true color this is called a, I don't know why it's called a powder foundation because it's a cream but it says powder foundation and I don't know what color is this I'll put it somewhere on the screen y'all but it is my favorite drugstore contouring situation y'all and remember a little goes a long way with this okay just just don't do don't do too much you know what i'm saying don't do too much don't mind my crazy lace wig y'all i'm gonna fix that later So I'm gonna go in with the Real Techniques brush and the Essence Compact Powder. Y'all know I live and swear by this stuff. For real, for real. And the same thing applies, a little goes a long way. I don't know how I feel about this eye look. I genuinely don't know how I feel. <sighs> okay, so we are done with that. Now we can go in with our Revlon Candid Powder. Same thing with the sponge. If you guys can see my number one tool today is the sponge and I'm not baking I'm just sitting so what I'm doing is I'm pressing the powder into the foundation with it I mean with into the concealer 
with the damp brush okay i'm not baking there's really no need it's like what time 12 p.m in the night so not really going anywhere or doing anything other than shooting a couple videos so i'm gonna go in with the essence compact powder this is in true mahogany and i'm just gonna set my contour I bet y'all are just like, girl, really? But really, I be doing the same makeup, but like, I think the techniques are good. The only thing you should really switch up to try new things would be your product, maybe. But if you find a good one, stick to it, girl, like. So I'm going in with the one and only my oldie my trusty my fluffy brush from wet and wild and i'm going to be using the maybelline this is the maybelline fit me powder foundation and this is in the color caramel 350 caramel and i'm using that to actually blend out my whole entire face remember what i said you need a compact powder that is your actual shade so that you can blend out your contour and highlight with it. It makes a huge difference. Let's apply some setting lines you tell. Oh, okay, okay. Guys, y'all saw that? Oh my god. This setting spray is trying to set me up. But anyway, we're going in with the setting spray. So we are then going to go in with my favorite lipstick of all time, which is the NYX. This is the next one. I will put it somewhere on the screen. But if you're a diva, you know that this is my ish. I really hate this eyeshadow. Would I be crazy to remove it? Do y'all think I'd be messing my whole face up? I'm gonna add some lip gloss. This is my favorite lip gloss. This is the Revolution Share. So for highlighter, I'm going in with the one entrusted Maybelline Face Studio Chrome. Um, you guys have seen this highlighter. It's one of my favorite drugstore highlighters. I feel like it's an amazing dupe for the MAC um, highlighter. You know what I'm saying? You guys should go see those makeup videos. I think I did a video comparing the two boo boo. Okay. I almost did something really wrong. I almost applied highlighter. With my other brush. So we're gonna go in with a smaller brush. Cause we gotta, you know. All right, let me apply some blush. And then, um, 
we just gonna take it from there because I feel like maybe blush will make me feel better. <laughs> blush will make me feel a little better. Oh, this is not even open. Why? 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 Please tell me why. Favorite blush of all time. This blush here. Wet and wild girl. Wet and wild. And I'm just gonna use a little cute, you know. Blush brush. All right, let me go apply my lashes off camera and maybe finish my eyes, decide if I'm gonna keep it this way and then I will be right back and then we go take it from there, girl. You know, my brain's everywhere. But I'm gonna go do all my lashes. I'm gonna try to see what I can do with this eye look. I'm gonna come back and show you and that's what's up. <laughs> So y'all, I managed to finish my makeup. I decided, no, I'm not going to change my eyeshadow. Just going to blend it out a little bit, you know, try to make it look cute. Um, add um, some eyeshadow to my lower lash line, some mascara, some lashes. I mean, it's okay. I've done better makeup in my life. But, you know, it's a cute little beat. You know, it's a simple little beat, you know. Do y'all like it? Comment down below. Let me know what you think of this makeup look. Thank you for just chilling with me. Spending time with me as we do some girl-ish. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to the girl's channel. And y'all are the bomb diggity. Thank you so much.